Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void. Today, gonna be a Patreon cast featuring Max Pax and Maru. On altitude, top right, it's gonna be Max Pax. Bottom left, it's gonna be Maru. Max Pax is the leading Protoss on Oligulac today. But, he does not compete in premier tournaments that require him to show up in person. So, I don't know how good he is, so I figured uh, figured we'd cast a game where he measures up to Maru. And I haven't cast a Maru game since, like, April for some reason. Well, I know the reason, because uh, I have a lot of TBT from Maru. But TBT is not very popular, so if I just flood you with Maru TBT replays, then... Uh, that would be bad. All right, so it's a proxy here from Maru, a two racks proxy. Is there gas? Nope. Just Marines on the way here for Max Packs. Hmm. So blocking the Reaper hop-up spot, but there will not be a Reaper here today. Huh. So this build is fairly popular in TVZ, but. Uh, Refinery coming up here. Mm. Mm. All right, here we go. Are we gonna do a third racks here, Maru? Nope. So, one gate into Cybercore, into expansion timing here for Max Pax. And throwing down a bunker. There we go. Max Pax says, Robert the Zealot. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Robert the Zealot. Robert the Zealot shirts and mugs available at falconpaladin.store, as well as Steve the SCV shirts. Okay, so we got the bunker canceled. Probes fighting here. Okay, so I think Max Pax has held it. Oh, nice. And the Zealot is gone. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, so we got a Stalker out. The shield battery is going to be very, very valuable if it can ever finish here. Oh, boy. Six probes down. Ah. Uh, hurry! Are you blocking blocking access to that shield battery? Zap! Ah, getting killed by a probe. Bam! Okay. So Max Pax held it off at the cost of six probes and a zealot. Two SCVs and five Marines died, and now we have to uh, float back the barracks. Docker says. You don't have very much back at home, do you? <laughs> Command center and a starport on the way. Widow mine. Being produced here by Senor Maru. Man, that stalker has four kills. Looking good, dude. I was thinking Cyclone, maybe, but... Widow mine is a little bit faster to get out. Alright, so Widow mine, top of the ramp. Two Marines augmenting it. Yoink. And dead stalker. Nice. Nicely done by Maru. Uh, so, Stargate scouted here by the barracks. Maybe it's going to be an oracle. Stalker chasing down this barracks. This barracks heading home as well. Robotics facility. For the Widow Mines, and yes, another Cyclone. Well, a Cyclone on the way. Another Cyclone, if you count all the Cyclones that Maro has made in his entire career. Which is so, 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 so many. What's going on in the world today? Well, again, it's a Patreon cast. For those of you who support me at patreon.com slash falconpaladin. For at least one buck a month, I appreciate you. You get to see this the week of July the 20th. So cool. 2023. So if you're watching this then, I appreciate you. I love you. And if you're watching this uh, after that, like August 2023 or later than that, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. I'm here five or six times a week with StarCraft 2 content. It's awesome stuff. Players like Maru, man. Players like the Max Packs. Interesting. Landing the barracks here at the right Zelda Watchtower and making Marines with it. 
Interesting play. Oh, it's a couple of Phoenix out from Max Packs with a third one on the way. Immortal production, too. Intriguing. Are you going to try to find Widow Mines and lift those or what? So, I mean, I don't know. Phoenix are an interesting idea here. We have seen Phoenix get some work done against Terrans fairly recently on the channel, but, like, of course he made Cyclones. The thing about Phoenix is you can break that lock on real easily. Because you can fly, you're fast, and those two things are what you need if you're going to break uh, break a lock on. But I mean, it's Marines and it's Cyclones and it's Widow Mines. I feel like Phoenix were kind of the wrong choice to make here. My personal estimation. Oh, he even loses one there. Not fast enough to break that lock on. Bummer. Bummer of a thing here. All right. Immortals, Stalkers, any further tech he needs. He's continuing to make Phoenix. And again, we've seen it work, but usually when the player has tanks, not when the player has everything that can shoot up in the whole world, which are Cyclones, Widow Mines, Marines, right? Like, those are all really good against Phoenix, especially in numbers. And we are bringing a tank over, so the tank can be lifted, but I don't know if you can kill it, just because, again, there's so much anti-air here from Maru. So that's a free Phoenix, oh boy. All right, Max Pack's not doing great here. He's already lost two of his Phoenix. He kind of needs a ball of them. No third base for you. Third base is coming up for Maru inside his natural base, though. And are we going to gonna unload? Gonna unload that tank. What's the play here? Yeah, going to unload the tank. Help kill this pylon. This is dicey. 35 to 28 army supply in favor of Maru. Oh, man. And see, your Reaper hop-up spot then becomes a liability. As you're going to lose your Cyber Core, you're going to lose a Warp Gate, a Pylon just died. The Phoenix, you're trying to get damage on the other side of the map here, but, like, I mean, I guess you can lift and kill a Cyclone. The Repair is really good, though. Ooh, the Repair keeps it alive. Nicely done. Yeah, everything on this edge, dead. Now there's a supply block on Max Parks because he lost that pylon. Rough stuff, dudes. Mm, Colossus in production to deal with the Marines. I like that. Maru says, all right, job well done. He didn't even really try to push up in here at all. But, I mean, three shield batteries, three immortals. That's pretty good. Pretty tough to break here. Uh, really? No missile turrets, no anti-air inside the main mineral line at all. That's rough. So five SCVs go down full free. And just lifting the Cyclone to break the lock on. Love that. Like that play. Sneaky, sneaky, smart stuff there for Max Back. Third base coming up at the 12 o'clock position. Trying to make that happen. Which he should be trying to make that happen. Sentries in production. Morrow going to land his third here. Sound of walking through water. All right, Max Pack says, "Can we bust in there? <sighs> too many Marines, too many Cyclones, too much anti-air. Again, if the Phoenix can control the skies here, they can lift the tanks, and then it turns into just a ruffle stomp. But there's just too much, too much shooting up for the Phoenix to be able to pull that off." And Max Pack pulls back here too. So both players have moved out with the intent of getting some work done. Oh gosh, a couple more Phoenix dead. Ooh, in tandem too. Synchronized Phoenix death. Very fun stuff. And the Phoenix are just like, we're fast, but man, these Cyclones are fast. So third base up for Max Pax, third base up from Maru. Both players are pretty happy about that. Finally, Concussive Shell is on the way as we're adding Marauders into the composition because he knows that there are Colossus. Marauders are going to be good there. Additional uh, gateways in production here for Max Pax. More and more Colossus being produced. Three, again, is pretty much the magic number. He's got three, but he's working on a fourth, which is totally rad like that very much. Yeah, trying to lift. Has any Cyclones died today? Have any Cyclones died today? No, not a Cyclone has died today. Not even a single one. He's done a great job keeping him alive. It's a weird comp, man. Cyclone, Marine, Marauder, Siege Tank, Medivac. I mean, it's pretty normal, except I guess the Cyclone's being added in here, but... To help deal with the Phoenix, not bad. Stalker picked off with Lock-On. Siege Tank blows apart. I think that was another Stalker that died. Brutal stuff here. Maru 
Showing why he's an insanely good Terran player. Well, he's maybe the best Terran player on Earth right now. I think he... Yeah, Oliveira beat him in the World Championship, which was nuts. But he did defeat Oliveira in a future Premier Tournament about three months later. So, I don't know. We're kind of going back and forth on this, right? Nobody is the best player forever in StarCraft. Yeah, man. Phoenix trying to pick stuff off, but yeah. Uh, Disruptor is being added into the mix here from Max Pax. Ghost Academy on the way. Not real surprised about that from Maru. You're always going to love a good Ghost Academy against Protoss. EMP is getting tossed down. Man, this game started with a 2 racks proxy from Maru. That's very hilarious. That is some funny stuff. Okay, so Maru moving out for like the third time today. He's like, all right, this time I have 100 army supply. I'm basically maxed out. I am very big. I am very scary. What can Max Pax post possibly hope to do against the might of Maru here? Vikings picking off those Phoenix from distance. Disruptor. Ooh. Okay, yeah, lock it onto a Zealot. It's fine. We can lose a Zealot here, says Max Pax. Counterattack. Zealots inside the third base of Maru going after some of these SCVs, attracting him just a little bit. But Maru says, can I just win this thing now? Not if Disruptor draws have anything to say about it. Nice connection there. Beautifully done. Zealots are still shutting down this third base. Vikings are trying to find him. Vikings are not very good against Zealots, but that's all there is for now. Just buying time from, okay, Marauders and Siege Tanks to deal with these guys. That's not great. But pushing up into the natural base a little bit here. The anti-air is not great against these Vikings. My gosh, Colossus. Blah, blah. Siege Tanks trying to get as many shots at the camp before they die, but they are dead, and Maru is pushed back. Absolutely pushed back there. God, this Zealot casually almost taking down a siege tank there. Yo, it's 76 to 58 workers in favor of Maru, even with all of the SCV deaths there. Maru's been killing it economically. Plus, he has mules, so the income tab has been favoring him. Uh, largely favoring him over the last five minutes or so. Warp Prism, ghosts in production here. Fourth base from Maru under attack by a couple Zealots. Max Pax busts into the third while he's worried about his fourth. Max Pax masterfully being in two places at once here. Oh boy. Refineries die. Seven more SCVs go down with a combined attack to the third and the fourth base of Maru. Army value 98 to 77. Max Pax has a worker disadvantage, but his third base isn't defunct at the moment, and his fourth base is up and actually has some income coming through there, too. So income kind of even right now. Surprising considering the worker discrepancy plus the power of mules that Maru has. So trying to use Archons as the anti-air here against these Vikings. Not, not really any stalkers in this group at all, but Disruptors, Archons, Colossus. Ah, uh, he just uh, warped in some zealots inside the main base to Max Pax. The thing about Archons is they're really susceptible to EMPs, as we're seeing there. But, dude, the zealots, oh my gosh, they're going to deny a plus two infantry arm uh, weapons upgrade. Holy crap. This is insane. Max Pax. Max Pax power. See, these are the kind of games where it's like, well, he doesn't want to play in person in Premier Tournaments, how good can he really be? And it's like, well, he just killed 12 workers of Maru's and he's taken him to 13 minutes in the fourth base of Maru's in a lot of trouble. The repair keeps it alive, but he loses more SCVs in the process of trying to keep it alive. Absolutely fantastic. My gosh, Max Pax is looking great. And he really wants to kill this PF, but... Uh. The repair is good. He doesn't have enough mortals to just straight burn it down. So it's like Archon Zealot Disruptor DPS, which is fine, but not exactly ideal. 175 to 173 supply. Fourth base of Max Pax rolling. Maru's third base is back. He's landed. He's got his refinery. He's back. Max Pax thinking about attacking up here. No, no, gonna back it out. Casually. Vikings are keeping an eye on little zealot movements over here on the left side of the map that might sw try to swing into the third base. But fifth base warping in Max Pax. Loving that. 
All right, good concave here from Maru. EMPs up, Disruptor's getting sniped before they can connect. That's a connection. I think that killed one ghost, maybe. But uh, Vikings chasing these Colossus down. One Colossus goes down. Another one probably going to die here, too. No, oh, no, an overextension by Max Pax, quite possibly. As the other Colossus dies, Archon's Disruptor's the only splash damage available now. Is he done? I think he's done with Colossus. He is working on Storm. No, he's not working on Storm. He's making High Templar for more Archons, though. I would never say no to Storm against a Terran player. I really think Storm is better than Disruptors are against somebody as good as Maru is. At least that's what I've seen. That's been my, uh, my observational experience at the highest level of StarCraft 2, don't y'all know? Who's holding this tower? Oh. Hey, did the thing! You destroyed the tower! That destroys the Zonaga Watchtower. Then there's debris you have to kill if you want to expand here. Hooray! Second time I've seen that. Took a while for me to see it, but it's totally possible. Maru expanding left side to the 9 o'clock position. This is looking... This is looking like a... I don't know. Like a pretty good macro game. I cannot believe this turned into a like reasonable macro game. Fusion Core on the way. Considering it was a two racks rush out of Maru. Max Pax taking the three o'clock. Maru doing a great job. Just keeping an eye. Oh, nice disruptor hit there. Uh, EMP, bit of a whiff. I think it caught a single zealot. Even that, maybe. Uh oh. Maru pre splitting his stuff, trying to chase a disruptor. Protoss is hard to do. Is there enough here from the Terran? He feels pretty confident. Takes a Disruptor shot. Kills a Disruptor for it, though. Another Disruptor shot. Killing a couple Marauders, but the Disruptor paying for it. You get one shot, and that's it, man. More Disruptors. Trying to connect. High ground shield batteries. Falling back to that army value. 111 to 105. Max Pax is up. Warps in a whole group of charge lots. And now Maru's army doesn't seem that great. Not against this many charge lots. They are chasing down these ghosts, these siege tanks. Disruptor shot kills a widow mine that he already knows about. Another widow mine gets picked off by Purification Nova. And all of a sudden, maybe Maru overextended during that attack. Yeah, he's got to fully evacuate his fifth base over here on the left. Oh, he went. Why would you land the orbital? That's a terrible idea. Ow, siege tank down. And I think that thing needs to evac. Yeah, it does. 100%. I mean, a lot of zealots here, not a ton of anti-air. Morrow decides just to go? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just beelining across. Oh, no. Is this turning into a base race scenario? They say never base race a Terran. Morrow says that's right. Never base race me. How about it, Max Pax? Yep, for a race. One, two, three, go. I guess on your marks, get set, go. Probably more of an American thing anyway. All right, man. 122 to 175 supply. No one's taken really serious damage yet. We're both maxed out. Nobody has a ginormous bank. But I like it. Max Pax. Ugh, Max Pax is going for the newer sources of income from Maru. And Maru's going for... Uh, he's going for the tech structures of Max Pax. That's his choice here. Oh, it's a recall back. That is the best thing about... That is the best thing about being Protoss during a base race is that you can recall home. After you've crippled the economy of your enemy, you can just recall back and save your tech structures and all your income is still alive. Oh, man. This is crazy. Ah, has Max Pax done it? Maru has the bigger army, but dude, no income here. No income here. No income here. He's going to try to retake his third base. Maru, he's building a lot, but that's it. His bank is gone. If Max Pax can draw this out, he's going to be in a great position. Oh, charge lock counterattack into the natural base of Maru. So annoying. He's pulled some boys. Maru has. He doesn't need all those SCVs. He doesn't have bases. This is tough. This is looking like an epic game, quite possibly. A little bit surprising, but my goodness. No, oh, nice connection there. Nice connect. Again, getting up a ramp where there's like five disruptors is so hard. Because the Purification Novas are pretty much consistent here. 
Oh, another immortal pops out. 15 SEVs have died. These zealots are just casually killing supply depots. I don't know. Max Pax isn't directly controlling them, but I think that might be it. If Maru couldn't win with that attack, I think he knows the writing's on the wall and he's dead. He's got a good army here, but 77 to 20 workers is not where you want to be against somebody as good as Max Pax is. That income tab is favoring the Protoss immensely. Finally, the Zells get cleaned out, but they killed the two supply depots that they were trying to kill with the burn down ability. Oh, oh. And that's it, GG! Max Pax holds on against Maru's big push with disruptors, with all sorts of great stuff, and he gets the win. Max Pax! Max Pax! What an absolute boss! Absolute boss! Part of this is the 103 SCVs that died to only 17 probes. The income tab was favoring Max Pax immensely over the last five minutes. Really, really, really good stuff there. Oh, is this a pig game? Check out a link to pig stuff in the description, yo. Twitch and YouTube. He's got great channels. Wow. So resources lost 32,000 to 32,000. So right, they both did a great job of killing each other, but what really mattered was Max Pax had money and Maru did not have money. In terms of having money, we have no money, is what Maru says here. Yeah, the disruptors are huge. Seven of them at the end of the game. Seven of them did get killed. EMPs were fantastic. A lot of ghosts made here today. The early cyclone stuff was really good, dealing with Max Pax's early Phoenix stuff. But at the end of the day, uh, Max Pax comes out on top. Maru initiates a base race that Max Pax wins, partially because he could recall, right? And every Terran and Zerg player is like, that's unfair, dude. You're stuck on the other side of the map. And boop, you're back. You're defending a base immediately. And that's it. Like, Maru was going after the tech structures, didn't kill him, couldn't get close to the main base to kill these tech structures, and then at the end of the, that battle, uh, there were three bases mining for Max Pax and zero for Maru, and this one came up, but one to three just is not going to work out for you. He knew he had to win then, and he went for it. Didn't work out, but man, Max Pax, what a boss. I'm d Okay, so this we got to believe in this dude. I think we have to. Luggy Lack ranking not misleading. Neat. All right, cool. So that right there is going to be it from me. This is Ben Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. Go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe. If you like what you saw, what you heard today, you can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being a patron if you are, and you take care of yourself.